Hello everyone, my name is Tim Bryce. I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in El Paso and I wanted to give a weather briefing about the potential for winter weather that we're going to see tonight through most of the day on Friday for most of southern New Mexico and far west Texas. So let's get started here. Basically we have an upper level storm system that's going to be uh, sweeping across central New Mexico in the next 24 hours. As that system comes on across it will generate the potential for snow, maybe some rain in the lowlands, uh, sleet, and then some heavy snow up in the mountains. So basically, as you say, by Friday afternoon, the storm's not really moving quickly, and that's what's going to allow it to give us some snows, especially up in the mountains, which could be uh, significant. By Friday night, the system will be exiting, and we'll just see some scattered areas of light precipitation. Basically, the challenges we have is in the next 24 hours, all the computer models see a chance for snow in the lowlands up into the Sacramento Mountains. But as you can see in this, this one panel, we're looking at six different computer models, and they're all setting up the bands of snow in slightly different locations. And of course, that will impact where you might, uh, where the snow is going to fall. Um, but basically, there is one trend there. It's basically showing a band that, or bands that set up from the southwest to the northeast. Could be from Las Cruces to the Sacramento Mountains. It could be El Paso. So we're just going to have to wait and see as we get closer uh, tonight and in tomorrow morning where these bands exactly uh, set up. But it does look like the lowlands will be, have a chance for more than a dusting, maybe an inch of snow by uh, early morning tomorrow. And then we'll talk about further about the potential for snow in the lowlands. In the higher elevations, we are talking about some significant snows. Other challenge is the, the temperatures. By tomorrow in the morning, as you can see, all the lowland temperatures will be either at or actually below freezing. So anything that falls tomorrow morning will be snow. You'll see though in the next couple of slides how we're expecting uh, as we go through the day, if we can get the sun out, we'll try to warm things up, which would lessen the threat, at least in the lowlands, for some snow. So what are we expecting for impacts? Basically in the lowlands, we are e expecting through 9 a.m. a dusting to one inch. So tomorrow morning's commute, though it may not be uh, with a lot of people with the schools out and with the holiday involved and everything, uh, but the commute in El Paso and Las Cruces could be a bit messy. So people need to keep that in mind. You might want to get up a little early if you have to get to work tomorrow morning just to see what the conditions are. In the mountains through 9 a.m., one to two inches. Then as that storm system starts to get itself a little more wrapped up, it's going to give us a better chance of snow uh, in the mountains in particular. So uh, through noon, we're expecting two to four inches of uh, precipitation up there in the mountains above 6,000 feet. So that would include like Cloudcroft and places in the Sacramento Mountains. In the lowlands, above 4,000 feet, we're expecting around one to three inches of snow. So even in the lowlands, like we're talking about for El Paso and Las Cruces, if that snow band sets up right, we could see some significant snows. But right now, we're, we're not expecting a whole lot of snow in the lowlands. By Friday afternoon, that's where things are going to get really tricky because we've got the sun trying to warm us up. We've still got snow bands in the area. So the challenge is going to be is who's going to be under the clouds and not warm up with the snow. That's probably where the snow is going to continue. But if you can see sun in the morning and start to get things warmed up, even if things move in your direction, you'll be just warm enough that instead of snow in the lowlands, it'll be rain or uh, light rain. So basically in the afternoon, we're only expecting trace amounts of snow in the lowlands, maybe up to an inch, about 4,000 feet. And then in the Sacramento Mountains, two to four inches of snow is possible. So you're talking now six to eight inches of snow in the Sacramento Mountains. In the Gila region, up towards Truth of Consequences, again, you could see anywhere from uh, around about a trace of snow to a little over one inch of snow. Finally, by Friday night, the storm system is going to be moving out. Areas that are in the higher terrain, again, above 4,000 feet, you could see a uh, trace to one inch of snow. Uh, in the Sacramento Mountains, though, I wouldn't rule out another one to two inches of snow. Again, keep in mind that if you do get snow, uh, any ice, it's going to refreeze Friday night uh, as we drop back below freezing. And then there will also be potential for some uh, fog early Saturday morning. Here's the current advisories that are out. Uh, basically, above 7,500 feet out in the west, we have uh, two to five inches of snow. 
In the Sacramento Mountains, we've got a winter storm warning where you've got above 7,500 feet, 5 to 8 inches of snow. In the lowlands, we're expecting a winter weather advisory, and we're expecting 1 to 3 inches of snow, and that does include El Paso and Las Cruces, and that basically runs from uh, Friday morning into Friday evening. And then east of here in Sierra County, I'm sorry, in uh, Hudspeth County and the Otero Mesa, we're expecting 1 to 3 inches of snow there as well, which could impact I-10, Sierra Blanca. Uh, we are expecting that uh, winter weather advisory is from noon to midnight. So lots of stuff going on. You guys can take a look at that graphic for a little more detail if you need to read it. Again, potential impacts. Uh, today we're improving conditions. Tomorrow morning could be a, 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 a icy white commute in El Paso and Las Cruces. So just get up early and find out, uh, see if the snow bands have set up over Las Cruces, over El Paso, or to the west of towns, or to the east of towns. It's going to be, it's just like summer convection. Summer thunderstorms, sometimes they pop up on top of us, and sometimes they're just outside of town. Same thing tonight. We're going to have, it's, these snow bands are going to pop up, and where they do, they're going to uh, drop an inch or so of snow. Where they don't pop up, it's just going to be cold. So get up early tomorrow and see where that snow bands have set up. If they are in your area, you're going to have to leave early if you're going to have to get to work or delay because there are going to be some dangerous driving conditions. Friday afternoon, it becomes more showery, more scattered. It actually may start to rain in El Paso and Las Cruces if we can get some uh, uh, warmer temperatures in here. Um, but there's going to be places that are socked in like uh, the east side was all day yesterday. If, you, if we do get a lot of uh, clouds and snow, boy, then it's just going to keep going, uh, and they could get another one to two inches of snow. Uh, basically, in the mountains, though, they will see some significant snows, especially up in the uh, Sacramento Mountains. Friday night, things are wrapping up and moving out. Maybe another inch or two of snow in the Sacramento Mountains. So, thanks for joining me. Uh, of course, you can always uh, join us on Facebook, uh, on Twitter, and check out our, our other videos on YouTube. So, thank you, and have a great day.